Hi CTA Freedom, this is Mrs. Long, the PE teacher, and this week's challenge is Mousetrap the Home Edition. So you need some buckets to first start off. So I had some empty canisters, and then to prop it up I just used a plastic cup, and those will be our traps. Um, and then you need your things for inside the trap. So simple things like these are little beads that um, I found in the house, or you could use something as simple as stuffed animals. These belong to my daughter. Um, you might have these around in your house, but um, plastic eggs, and if you wanna make it a little more fun, you can kind of put different incentives or prizes in there. Like for example, this one has Welch's fruit snacks, or you could do it where you earn something like, ooh, 10 minutes of screen time, or, if you wanted to add a little bit of exercise in there. Um, for example, everyone else that's playing against you would have to do 10 burpees or whatever exercises you guys choose to do. Um, so it just kind of makes it a little more fun, a little more interesting if you decide to kind of make it a hidden prize where you're not exactly sure if it's a good or a bad. Um, but to play, so for example, I'll set it up on this little green one over here. I would stick a couple of the different prizes. So for example, if I use my daughter's little stuffed animals, I kind of pop them underneath. For the ball, um, I have <laughs> my dog toys. Um, but you know, if basically if when you try and knock it out, you have to knock out the, the cup. And if it knocks it out, then you get to choose one of the prizes um, that you win. But if you hit it and you like, you're just like legitimately hitting the plastic and it somehow falls, then that doesn't really count. So it actually has to knock out the support that's propping it up. So um, if you don't have um, things to throw that are round, you could always take a pair of socks and just roll them up. Um, and I would say you should have probably about three, so that way you have three chances before it's the next person's turn. And so everyone can take chance, or uh, take a turn after three. So you want to make sure that you have your ball in your dominant hand and then when you do step you're going to step with your opposite leg and you're going to try and knock out that cup. Oh you did not knock it out. Try again. But oh! Oh! So close. It's kind of propped up and it's kind of out. Should I count that, honey? Yes or no? All right, so my husband's saying I, I get to count that because it did knock it out. It just, when it fell, it kind of fell onto the cup. So we're going to count that as um, a knockout. And so then I get to take one of the items. And then I just have to reset it up for the next person. Um, since I already won one, I don't need to take that third chance. And then it would be the next person's turn. And I get to hold on, oops, to my prize. So um, I hope that you guys have fun playing Mousetrap Home Edition, and I miss you guys, and um, have a great week.